Good morning. Is it morning? It is morning, but also happy March. We are one month closer to summer, so I'm super excited for that. I am about to go pick up my friend Augusta, friend and co-worker, and we are heading up to Boston today for a little girls day. We're going to grab lunch, going to do some shopping, and then get Botox. So I used to get Botox quite religiously, but it's expensive. It's like $300 to $400 every four months. And that's just unacceptable. I don't want to be spending that kind of money. I could be spending that kind of money on way better things than myself in that regard. So this hospital that my friend works at said that we can get it for $50. $50 Botox and $50 filler. I don't really want filler, but I need Botox. So that's our mission today. Girls day and Botox for $50 filler. I'm pumped, so let's go. We're getting ready. This is Augusta. We're getting ready to go in. I'm nervous. No, we're gonna yeah. get a glow up. We're gonna get it. You're not nervous <laughs> at all. A little bit. Yeah, a little nervous. If you see the parking garage we just pulled into, it's like, it's just a parking garage in Boston. It's fine. But we're gonna go in. I'll take you though. I'll take you with us. Let's just do it. Definitely just close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we do things we do for you. No. Good morning. So yesterday was a long ass day. It was definitely a long day. I still cannot believe that I got $50 Botox. I, I just can't wrap my head around it. Even the residents that were injecting us can't wrap their head around the prices. It's literally insane. So I had my forehead done and my 11s. So it's gonna take a couple days to kick in. I didn't touch my crow's feet. I guess I should let you see them because when I smile, I don't really have any. But anyways, I got a package while I was out yesterday. So I figured I would open part of my order with you. So placed an Abercrombie order maybe like two weeks ago and the reason why I even placed an Abercrombie order was because there were 90s ultra high rise jeans on there for $35. But for some reason they're back ordered and haven't shipped yet. So this was the rest of the order that I didn't actually need that has shipped. So I just got a couple tops. I definitely need jeans. Like I know I need jeans. I've gained some weight. Um, typically I'm around like 125 always and I'm at 130 right now and I just can't shake it. So I've been eyeing this bodysuit for quite some time, but their bodysuits are expensive. This was like originally $69 and I think I still paid like high, for high 40s, low 50s. So it is a beautiful sweater material. It's a very thick ribbed knit. I just love the neckline of this. I think I'll still be able to wear a bra and it's not too square where you're gonna see the straps. It is a thong bottom. And then I got another bodysuit, but this is just a basic. I already own two of their white bodysuits in all different necklines. So this is the same neckline as that sweater top. Hopefully I like it, imagine I don't even. <laughs> imagine I don't even like it. This one was also on sale, but originally $45. Like, 
It's worth it. It's white. It's double lined on the body, not on the arms. So I don't have a problem like sweating through it or anything like that. We'll see how it fits. And then the last top is definitely a spring purchase. And it did have mixed reviews. Uh, girls with bigger chests were saying like, don't bother, but here I am bothering. So it's this light blue kind of cropped because it doesn't hit up. It hits like right above my belly button. So I liked that the sleeves kind of ballooned out. They're very light. This would be great on a warm summer day or a, on a warm spring day or a summer night. I think that's gonna cover my chest. I don't know why other girls or other women were saying it's not. I have my procedure this afternoon. I'm like kind of freaking out about it, which is why I took yesterday to just like walk around, get out of my own head, not think about it. Um, I was still pretty anxious. My friend, my friend could tell because I just shut down. Like I get anxious and I just stop talking um, and I'm like hyper aware of my surroundings and I don't want to be around a lot of people. I'm not the most fun. <laughs> yeah, so that's this afternoon. If you didn't watch my February vlog, I'm having a hesteroscopy. So they're going to be putting a camera into my uterus to see if I have any like polyps or bad lining, see if, see why I can't manage to keep a pregnancy. So it's just another fun test I have to do on top of all the other tests I've already done. So, I didn't end up getting the procedure done yesterday. I had to reschedule it. Yesterday was just a very weird day. Um, but I did get an order from 12th The Tribe Inn. So if you watched my Instagram ad video, pretty much for 24 hours, I purchased whatever ads popped up on my Instagram stories. So what I purchased from Shop 12th The Tribe, I ended up returning and you know why if you watched that video. So I just exchanged for some different pieces because they only give you store credit, which stinks about that company. But the customer service was really nice. Even though the items were on sale, I was able to show them through my video that the quality was just, wasn't good. So they let me exchange and I picked up these two pieces. Decided to go with dresses this time. We're at the end of winter. It will be spring and summer soon. So I'm gonna get a little bit more color in my wardrobe. This first dress is a midi sweater dress. And I like that it has this rib detailing underneath the breast or the chest. So once this stretches out, obviously it will be more like this. It is long sleeve and it is open back and it does have a slit in the front as well on one leg. And the next piece is also a dress. So this style is very popular over the last year in shirts, long sleeve, tank top, t-shirts, dresses, like every variation. It is a slinky material and it kind of has a sheen to it, like a little bit of metallic in the light, but not so once you pull back. So it will shimmer a little bit in the sun. This would be pretty in the summer. It is long sleeve and it buttons all the way down and it just has the ruching in the center. So it cinches in underneath your bust and above your waist to really cinch everything in. Even if this is a little bit bigger, I don't mind. I would wear this as like a beach cover up or like after the beach, just throw it on before I'm heading out. You can wear this with sandals, strappy heels. We just left Sephora and I had a gift card and I'm pretty sure Sephora JCPenney is gonna shut down in like any given moment. So I wanted to spend my gift card. I picked up a new Rare Beauty blush. I've been using the Fenty Beauty cream blush, but I don't know, it just, I need to switch it up a little bit. So I got a dewy one, it's happy, pink dewy. And then a girl I went to college with works for four. So if you are any level of an influencer, you're familiar with them. They work with brands to get product to influencers. So she works with them in New York City. And I don't know if she purchased this with her own money or it was a product that they let them try, but it is the Milk 
Lip Plumper and I got it in the shade Buzz. And then I needed a new setting powder. I ran out of my one size travel setting powder. So I saw this one at Cash Out and it's the Huda, Huda Beauty Baby Bake in Pound Cake. So fun fact, Huda Beauty is actually from my area. All of her family lives over here, which is pretty cool. She's like international and lives in Dubai now. I am on my way right now to get my eyebrows laminated by my friend Amanda. She owns Blush Beauty Bar, so she's really the only one I trust to do my lashes and eyebrows. You guys know I get my eyebrows done maybe once a year and today's the day. So yep, this is the before and I'll show you guys the after. They look, whoops, they look so good. So this is just the lamination, no tint. I'm a little red, my skin is just hyper, hyper sensitive. You guys know that if you've been here for a while. So I'm a little red up here, but besides that, they literally look perfect. They look perfect. Just a little bit of plucking underneath. I'm a fan. Brow lamination is definitely the way to go. Day. Oh, I guess I should tell you what I'm doing. So I am on an app that I apply for PR. They send me PR if I'm approved for it. And this is a recent item. So this is by Day. It's a hair care company. I'm not sure if they're sold at Sephora. I'm gonna have to check that out for you guys and test this product out but it is a cactus fruit three in one styling cream that smooths while styling blow dry prep defines curls. I don't have curls. I'm gonna try this, my next hair wash. Hopefully it's okay for straight, like I don't have wavy hair, this is just from my Dyson and it's not meant for curly hair because this will definitely make my hair oily. And next up from Hollister, which is what Jonathan was just making fun of me for. We were walking through the mall the other day and in the window was a bikini. And I was like, oh my God, that bikini is so cute. But I didn't want to go into Hollister and try it on and whatnot. So when I went on the website, it was on sale and came in even better colors that would better suit my skin tone. And that's what I picked up. So this came in orange, purple, this like, blue, teal, green, whatever it's called. Abercrombie bathing suits actually fit me perfectly. I buy an XL in the top and a small in the bottom and Abercrombie and Hollister are sister companies. So I'm hoping that this will work out. So here is the top. So it is double lined. There is no padding and it does have underwire. This is a medium. I think I'm gonna have to get a large. So it crosses over, it looks like it'll have enough support. And then these are the bottoms, which are my favorite style. High rise, cheeky, like that 90s style swim in the same material. So Abercrombie makes this exact same cut. I own it in three other patterns and materials and it's the best ever. Think of it sitting like high-waisted like this. It really elongates your legs and gives you like a little bit of an hourglass. And then here's the back. So it's definitely cheeky, but I like this little detail, this Hollister gold tag. Obviously it doesn't like scream Hollister. It doesn't have a bird on it or anything. So I just got home from work and I have two packages. I think this is another PR item, which I'm gonna show you. I had a good day today. Went to my office. I met with a new lender. She's so cute. I really like her. Oh, I'm excited for this. So this is Paula's Choice 1% Retinol Treatment with peptides and vitamin C. Good for all skin types and it targets deep wrinkles and reveals firmer looking skin. Oh, look at that in the sun. Paula's Choice does have phenomenal skincare. I'm excited for this. I'm gonna have to check out the ingredients though to make sure it's still acne friendly. I try that with any new product that I put on my face. The next item, it looks like something that would come from an international seller, which means it's a bag. It is a bag, I got a new bag. 
So I'm gonna be doing a review on this bag on my Instagram and it is time to put a new set on. So I'm gonna do my Apre Gel X nails with you in this month, this month's vlog. So I have the whole kit. I purchased some new items off of Amazon to make it even easier. I'm excited, but right now, you know, I just wanna sit on the couch and play The Sims. I kind of wanna cry because I feel like if I didn't have a glass of wine, I wouldn't have chopped them. Oh my God, it took so long to grow them out. Now they're, <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. Time to soak them off. I took the e-file to the top of the gel polish before I start soaking off these Apre tips, this Gel X tips. So it's pretty much all off. I'm gonna go do the other hand, wash my hands, and then unfortunately sit them in acetone. So I just finished one hand. I went and I don't even know the last time I checked in with you guys, but I soaked off both hands. I rough filed the top to make sure everything on top was off and then I lightly buffed anything off and kind of shaped them down a little bit and then I just went through with a cuticle remover for this hand and I was scraping away at it. I feel like they look decent. They're so tiny compared to the long tips I just had and length. I just had, oh my God. It's still kind of early. I'm just like drinking red wine watching murder documents, and doing my nails. And I've never been happier. They let him go because I guess there wasn't a nine years old. They allowed him to live. Hard to see with this tan towel, but I have a dark brown, this neutral, but it's pulling like really yellow and I think it will look very, very weird on my skin tone and then this more bone like color which I think I want to save when I'm a little bit tanner so this is the winner and we are still watching murder documentaries the baby woke up though hey mama I look ridiculous <laughs> this i look so crazy so i'm about to head inside right now for a power of the purse committee meeting we are quickly approaching april 28th which is the event day i'm so excited so we're gonna finalize some stuff and have a photo shoot this afternoon so i'll bring you guys along to the photo shoot i'm not gonna bring you into the meeting that's that's the boring stuff the party planning is the long and tedious things but i'll bring you with us later Wow, I look insane. So I just got back from a quick ski trip, last ski trip of the year. Ski loon for the first time, it was amazing. 45 degrees on a Tuesday, so it was not a lot of people, not a crowded mountain. It was phenomenal. And I came back to the best package ever that Jonathan and I are gonna try with you guys. So this is chocolate. Carrion's Bistro, elegant chocolatier, sweets and snacks and chocolate. We just had a coffee too, so I'm like buzzing and looking insane. Okay. How long is it gonna taste you? I know, healthy, I don't know what that means. How is it healthy? So here's the chocolates. Damn, these look really good. Oh wait, you pick one to try and I'll pick one to try. Oh! 
a truffle. Mm. What's yours? Milk and dark. So it's a chocolate truffle? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're all truffles. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. It is like a hint of coconut. Hi. You're so pretty. I missed you. Give me a little bite. I'll take a little bite. Nuts. Oh. Each ball is a nut. Yum. What a nice treat no, to come home to. Good morning. Yep, 11.23. I am so anxious. I feel like at any given moment, I could break out in tears or just forget how to stop breathing or poop my pants. So all three are a lot of fun. I have a networking event. So I am a board member Young Professionals Group of Southeastern New England. I'm one of 13 board members. I'm the vice president. And every month we host a networking event where we feature a business. So we have it at a local business, invite local business professionals, local young business professionals, and we always pick a charity or a foundation that we raise money for. So today's event is a bar crawl, which I'm excited about. Our last event was our holiday party in December and we decided to take a chill pill. 75 tickets is what we sold. We didn't want to overwhelm the bars and the restaurants. I was able to get five bars and restaurants on board. I'm excited. I like, I like planning. I really like planning. I definitely do a shit ton of work on this board, but I enjoy, I just enjoy it. So that's what's going on this afternoon at three o'clock. And the foundation that we are raising money for is the Maddox J. Almeida Foundation. So Maddox passed away at nine years old of cancer and the foundation helps raise money and support families that have children that are also have cancer. I feel like an absolute asshole talking about this with curlers in my hair right now. That's where we raised money for. We were able to raise, I think, a grand and our goal was only $500. So hopefully we get some more money in today. It's just a feel good day. I feel really good about that. But the thing I'm anxious about is before the bar crawl, like right before, and I wanna throw up, I'm so nervous. I have a hesteroscopy. So I kind of mentioned this no, I definitely mentioned it in my February vlog and it already got rescheduled in March. 45 minutes before I was supposed to go to my last, this procedure last time, I literally got my period. Like 45 minutes before. Insane. So today I have to go at one and the doctor said it's either excruciating or it's discomfort. It's just a discomfort. So I don't really know what to expect. Everyone's body's different. I'm hoping it's not anything crazy because as soon as I leave the procedure, I have to go to this event that I'm hosting and like checking people in and just a lot, but I want answers. Okay, so ready for my doctor's appointment wearing the only shirt I usually wear on St. Patty's Day for like the last four years. Took my rollers out so I look a lot more normal. Still feel like I'm gonna poop my pants. I hope it's like the last one and I'm gonna come back here in like an hour and be like, oh, that was nothing. I can't believe I was stressing out. I'm just crazy. I'm gonna do a bathroom run. Get Get in! Da, 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 da. <laughs> wow. No, I'm not fucking creepy. Just gonna walk this way. Are they more coming? Oh, so many that I've said to you guys. I know I was having a full-blown panic attack on Thursday. Um, and I don't think I've caught up with you since. I'm pretty sure I just jumped right into a bar crawl. So I ended up not getting the procedure on Thursday when I was in the doctor's office. I was chatting with him. He's, he's so nice. I'm like obsessed with my OB. But I was apologizing for having to cancel my early March appointment. 
and I said it was the weirdest thing. Like I started my period 45 minutes before my procedure. And he said, wait, and he like did the math and he said, so you're ovulating today, like March 17th. And I said, yeah, actually I was like, today is my like hard, you better do the nasty because you have a very high chance of getting pregnant. He said, I track it religiously for the last like five years. And he said, I can't do this procedure on you today. This is the worst day, like humanly possible to do this procedure because I could be pregnant or have a very high chance of getting pregnant. So I'm sitting there, I sweat completely through my St. Patty's Day shirt. Like I was shaking and I had taken pain medicine before because they told me to, I didn't get it done. So we went and just grabbed lunch and then went right to the bar crawl and it was so, so successful. We pledged to raise $500 for the Maddox J Almeida Foundation and we raised about $1,500. Honestly, I think over $1,500. So it was so nice meeting the family. They ended up coming later in the night. Everything about it was great. We had a great turnout. We raised a shit ton of money. It's... I just love it. I think one of the best lessons my mom ever told me is to get involved with the community. So it doesn't matter how much you have, there's a way that you can help. If you don't have the time, you might have the money. If you don't have the money, you might have the time or you might have the connection. So I think that's one of the biggest lessons I could tell anyone that is in their career or just getting started is get involved any way possible. I think it is the perfect time to dye my eyebrows again. I think they're completely faded. The lamination is probably like done too. I can definitely stick some castor oil and get them up. But besides that, I think it's pretty faded. So I'm gonna go dye my eyebrows. I'm not gonna do it on camera again. I will link the kit with obviously before and after, but I did it in my last vlog, so. Here is the before. Sorry, the sun is like setting. Here's the before. It literally changes my face. And again, it's harsh. I just took it off, but that's a difference, girl. I am bored. So I'm gonna redo my nails. Say hi. I'm gonna show them the new fiddle leaf. Look, I got two huge new leaves in. So exciting. Good morning. I just left my mentor meeting at one of my real estate offices and I got a text from one of my buyers that they decided to pull out from house hunting. Just said that it's very discouraging and there's nothing available at their price. This is why when I sit down with buyers for the first time, I say patience. Patience is key because this is not a one month thing. This is a six to eight to a year long search to buy a house right now. <sighs> what a shitty way to start my day. So I have a pretty large Amazon order coming today and tomorrow, and they're all coming in different packages. And the first one already showed up. So these studs are from Pavoy and they came in this cute pink box and they came in this cute little bag, but I already took them out of the bag. Have not tried them on yet though. We're finally finishing our bathroom tomorrow. So I have the new faucet coming in and like the rest of the handles. Oh, these are extra tiny. I think these are gonna be this tiny. I don't even know if they're gonna pick up. I really don't wear studs, so these are them. I would say they're the top Amazon jewelry seller. They're just so affordable. The color gold is gorgeous. A lot of my hoops are from there that I wear constantly. I'm always tagging. So huge, huge fan of them. If you are looking to build up your jewelry collection, I highly recommend Pavoy. Talk about perfect timing. What are the odds? Oh my goodness. Oh, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I reviewed this bag yesterday. I love it. It's reversible. So it's two bags in one. It's so gorgeous. So I reviewed this yesterday. If you're into uh, designer bag knockoffs, check that out. I used to review them on YouTube. 
until some dumb bitch reported me. Okay, so first thing, scalp massager. I don't know if you're aware, but I take hair care extremely seriously with my pre-wash oils, my night before wash oils, my in the shower oils, my aftercare oils, my hair masks, like heat protectants, everything. I'm very serious about my hair. And that's the reason why I've been able to keep it so long through going blonde and redhead for three months and then back to brunette. So everything that I see on TikTok, well, hair talk, is always saying that the number one result is hair massagers. So I use, you know, when you used to go on field trips to like the science museum or I don't know, anywhere, and they had those scalp massagers. So that's what I've been using to massage my scalp. And I definitely think it works. I've been talking about this for literally three years, three plus years on YouTube. I tell all of my friends to get one as well, but they make an actual scalp massager. So back to TikTok. Everyone on TikTok says, this is what you need. Like this is what is going to simulate your scalp, get your blood flow going and create, generate hair growth. So. What you do is you lather up with shampoos or if you do like a pre-wash, like a cleanse, and you take this and you massage your scalp. I feel like I could film an hour long in-depth hair video on what I use, when I use it, and why I use it. So if you would like to see that, let me know. That would be no problem. So I'm excited to try this out. I did just wash my hair like two days ago, so I won't be using it anytime, not anytime soon. I won't be using it like today but I'll test it out for the next vlog. Next, okay, good. This is why I've been waiting to finish my nails. So right now I have the, well, this is it. Right now I have the Apre Kit, Apre Gel X. You've seen it everywhere. I'm sure your nail salon does it. It's like perfectly shaped nails, length, everything, every single time. It's essentially like professional press on nails. So I bought the kit during the pandemic and it cost me about $70 for everything, like the entire kit. But the nails are just too long for my liking and they're a stiletto shape. I don't typically like that. I like almond or um, ballet. So ballet is coffin, what's this? Oops, it's gonna fall. These over here. So I'm hoping they're not gonna be too long. We shall see. I'm gonna use them today. This is, this is gross. I don't know, it's giving me like, it's making me feel older having no nails on. So I'm gonna test that out today. Ooh, another Pavoy. Let's see, is this the ring? It's the, did I get hoops or I got cuffs? Okay, so here are the cuffs, they are so cute. So it's a double, double hoop. One is glitzy, one is just a regular band heavy okay the last thing in here are handles so i'll show you the bathroom real quick but just to get like a little quick peek these handles this is an ikea um, mom dresser so to make it more elevated i picked up these gold handles off of amazon and then when we redid our bathroom i was like oh my god I'm obviously gonna get those too so let's show you real quick so I had these added before they were just knobs on here. And I think, I haven't cleaned my bathrooms, so don't judge me, but I think that really elevated the look. And the other thing that I have coming in tomorrow is the new faucet. So this will all be black. Oh my God, hairball, gross. Black, um, these lights I'm pretty sure are from Amazon too. And I need to figure out new mirrors. I'm just not there yet. I just don't care enough yet. So the handles that I just got in, unfortunately, are a pack of six or like 10. And I only need two, one for here, one for here. But the sellers that sell that size only sell them in six packs. So that stinks. But yeah, this will be all set tomorrow. Before I buff away all this crap that's left on my nails, I wanted to show you what came in the Apre kit. So it came in this gorgeous box. And up here, I've just been storing the nail polish color. You want to look? You already know what's in here, silly. The colors I have been using, I've been storing, but it came with each step, a light. This is an extra um, uh, nail file. 
And then underneath are the tips. So it came with a ton of tips. If you're thinking about getting it, I obviously recommend it. Look at all of those tips. Insane, insane. So I highly recommend the kit. Obviously I've been doing my nails the last month and a half by myself. So wish me luck with this new set. My psycho ass got rid of three and a half bags, three and a half bags of shoes, like well over a thousand dollars worth of shoes. And here I am buying new shoes. So I want, I wanted a summer sneaker and H&M had like a 25% off one item. So I said, Ooh, okay. I got these. So they're like the Superga dupes. Um, I thought this was actually gonna be like a sneaker material. It's a canvas. So then you have the, Rafa, I don't, I don't know what this is, but you have like the weaving, the natural weaving on the bottom platform. I got them in a size eight. They didn't have half sizes and I'm kind of scared these aren't gonna fit. I would like a tighter sneaker because I'd wear no shows with these and like a sundress and they'd be so cute or like jeans and a white tee and a denim jacket. They're just so, 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 so cute. I'm excited for these. 